What is going on everybody? If you recognize this whole situation right here, this is seconds after I just ended the last video with this truck. So that's why it looks all the same because it is. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to be moving the truck to the concrete slab and probably that's about it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be hopefully finishing the rear end and uh, I don't have my brake lines yet. They are finished. I just haven't picked them up yet because they're about an hour away. But uh, yeah, they were $82 for the brake lines for custom stainless longer brake lines to where it would have been like 120 if I bought them through Rough Country. So save some money there. Um, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow this truck will be ready for the road without shock. So it's going to be stiff and just bumpy as hell, but it, it'll be still fun to go mob some trails. But uh, probably going to have to go jump or grab some jumper cables because I can almost guarantee you that this thing is dead because the battery in this thing is trash. <clears throat> We'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, let's drive the Miata out into the hay field. done for the night I'll uh, start working on it tomorrow what is going on everybody in the spirit of the project it is not the next day it is the next weekend um, so yeah this project takes a long time because I don't really want to work on it that bad <laughs> I want to get it out of here and that's honestly the only reason I'm working on it now I, I it's just been not driving for so long that it's starting to get frustrating but I have already gotten one side of the rear end done. Uh, it's been, it's taken me all morning because um, I've had to do so much stuff. So this is the new welder I just picked up. I paid $400 for everything. It's a Lincoln 140, so it's only a 120 volt, but it works fine for whatever I need it for. Came with the tank, uh, filled uh, a huge spool of wire. So when I got this thing, they were having issues with it. And I think that's partly, partly why I was, got it so cheap. But uh, what was happening is the wire was melting on the inside in here. Um, and it was because it was arcing. They had it running through this hole right here and it was arcing on that uh, and melting in there. So I made a rubber grommet for this and then ran it through that and I don't have that issue anymore. So uh, it works perfect. Um, I also had to, the regulator wasn't working right so I took it apart. Turns out there was something in there just not sitting right. Uh, so it works now. Um, but what I've been doing that's been taking so long is, uh, I had to take the old blocks out and put these ones in and then use, put new ones of these in, but I had to take the bottom spring out, bottom relief. Um, I know technically you're not supposed to do that, but I, there, there's already a ton of these on here and it was stiff as hell before. So I don't think it's going to hurt any to soften it up. So it might be uh, squatting just a little bit but I don't know I don't think it'll look that bad and also I had to put that plate in there I know my welds are ugly right there but uh, I was having issues with the gas and yeah it steel was dirty and everything also another thing since I had to take these off I had to take the bolt out that runs through there and it's rusted and it was rusted and destroyed and the nut wouldn't work again so I had to make a new bolt um, and run it through and I'll show you guys what I did because I haven't put this one in yet. So this is what I did. I took a longer bolt and uh, put it in the drill 
and uh, rounded it off and then welded a huge bead around the top of it to uh, make it deeper so that it wasn't just a uh, eighth of an inch thick or however it was so now it actually sits in there good so this is going to run through from bottom to top like this and then that's going to suck it down and these will all be compressed again and then once i do that i will be ready to put this back on the truck and uh throw my new u-bolts in uh the reason i had to take that off on either side is because the u-bolts weren't long enough i don't know if i said that but because this, this lift kit was made for a half ton, I think, and the half ton has way less springs. So I think that's why. But I got that side all tightened down. You can see I got enough threads now. Um, so another thing I figured out, I don't know how I didn't realize this. There was no shock on this side. The shock is supposed to go from there to right about here. And the, uh, the mount just broke off that holds the shock before I bought it. I, I don't know how I didn't see that before I bought it, but yeah, uh, which it's not really a big deal because I got a welder now, so I can just weld the new bracket on. I just got to buy a new one. I got to buy shocks still, but I got my new brake lines. If you guys want to go look at those, I picked them up this week. They are right in here. So these are the old ones. Uh, they're nice and nasty looking. And then these are the new ones. They're stainless uh, braided and they are six inches longer so they should be good now i got to put them on the front still i haven't put them on on either side but uh i'm gonna start getting to work and bringing you guys along with me so yeah let's get going Alrighty, guys so i got that bolt in there uh, running through and now what i gotta do is i gotta use this clamp this c clamp to bring these springs together so that i can just get that bolt sucked all the way down and then I got to use the sawzall to cut the top off so that I can use the air gun and the socket will fit all the way over. So now that I got that down, just go ahead, bring that down, keep doing this for a while. Okay, that's good enough. So now I got to grab the sawzall and chop that top off so that I can use the socket because right now this is too long for, to fit the socket on there. So. Alrighty guys, so I got that bolt on there and the rest of it cut off. I got the block sitting in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and run these through the, uh, the top plate right there and hopefully you get this thing all bolted up and then I'm going to have to start working with that mount for the uh, e-brake line because I got to drop it down like I did the other side. So uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, so you can see I got that new piece welded on, and I don't understand because like as you can see there, like I can weld fine, but as soon as I try to weld under the truck, I get that, and I don't understand why. The thing, I, I think it's probably just because the steel isn't clean, because like it's hard to prepare the steel when it's under here when I don't have a grinder and stuff out here, so that probably is what it is, but like like on the table, like I can, I can weld perfectly fine on the table, so I don't know what's up with that, but I got everything tightened up. And now the only thing I'm missing in the rear is my shocks. Well, obviously my brake lines too. I got to get those put back in. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much good to go. Um, so I'll probably do the brake line before I mount the tires on just for ease of access. But I am done so far, or as far as I know, for the back end of the truck. So yeah. Just like that, everybody, I got the back end finished. Got my new brake lines on. Um, there is one issue. I can't find the little clips that I took off the front brake lines. The ones that uh, keep this from coming through here, well, it's it's pretty solid right now because of this thing, but there's a clip that goes on the back side of this. I can't find them for some reason. I could have swore I put them in the truck, but I, I just can't find them. But uh, I want to show you guys something. Since I don't have shocks on the rear end, this thing is just like stupid bouncy. So uh, I'll set you guys up and show you. Alrighty guys, well I bred the brakes, bled the brakes, and <laughs> I went to go take this thing for a test drive and it just was not running right, right at all. Um, I went to go drive it 
and it was just coughing super bad. And then when I was coming down the hill, I went up the hill and then I was coming down, lost my pedal completely and it was just barely even running. And it finally died on me and uh, I got it to start again, so I drove it back, but it's just not running good at all. I don't think it's running on eight at, like, I, there's there's no way it's running on eight. I need to get this thing um, tuned. I might just go take it to somebody, go get it tuned up. There you guys can see the new brake lines. Um, oh boy. Yeah. Need to get those zip tied up too, because they're a little long. But this is probably gonna be the end of the video. Uh, I was gonna take you guys on a drive for it, uh, but that's just not gonna happen today. Sorry this video is taking so long to get out, but this truck takes a long time to work on, so. Uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. I'm super glad you guys came today. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe if you wanna keep watching the videos. I also got the Duramax swapped square body in process right now. I just started working. You guys are gonna see that video coming out real soon too. So yeah, as always guys, see you later.